Hello guys, welcome to the first ever half episode of Colin Sports Talk. Um, today we're just kind of doing some standings and recording what we're going to be doing for the next week. A lot of other YouTubers have been doing these record predictions, so I was kind of wanting to get in there and see if my first ever half episode could actually be predicting records for the following week, and also doing a analysis on the freaking past two weeks of the NFL season. Want to begin? Sure. I'm using a thing called what is it called? It's Playoff Predictors, and with this, I can make good playoff predictions without having to write it down on a piece of notebook paper. This is an online, this is online, it's a website, it is pretty good to use when you need to use it. So, <laughs> um, week three... I'm looking at, we're going to set that right there. First of all, week one. Week three. Now, it's split into different categories. You got the AFC category, which is AFC versus AFC. You got the NFC category, which is NFC and NFC. And then you got the AFC versus the NFC. This is like the AFC versus NFC game matchups that we're going to be having for the next week. And the funny thing is, is the home entire AFC North is tied up one, two, one. So let's just begin. I'm going to start with the AFC category. It ain't going to be in order for a week or anything. So you guys are going to probably have to look through the schedule to find the games in order. This is just my layout of the game based on playoff predictions. So first game I'm going to be looking at here is the Chiefs and the Chargers. Chiefs lost to the Ravens by one point, one point, and it was kind of bad, and now they sit at the bottom of the NFL's basement. Let me check that out. Oh, no, they're not in the basement. Actually, the Chargers are, so. And the Raiders at the top. I know the Raiders are doing good this year. Probably three notice after the season, in my opinion. But... Chiefs versus Chargers. Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes. Chargers have Justin Herbert, a outstanding rookie versus the greatest player in the NFL right now. Um, I had to go with Chiefs on that one. So next one, let me I have a ton of crowded space here. The next game here is the Steelers versus the Bengals. The Steelers versus the Bengals. Now, that is a very hard game to decide. The Bengals, how they played recently, the Bengals are actually one of my top choices. And the Steelers absolutely got wrecked. Like, they didn't get destroyed. They didn't lose, like, 32-6. to six. They didn't lose, they didn't score no point. They didn't, they did not, not score no points. <coughs> Dolphins, man. And they still have a chance to beat the Bengals. It's just, I think the Bengals are going to be more of a fighting contender now. Since they beat the Vikings on the field goal kick, but they lost the Raiders. I think this year's gonna have to win that one. Um, Titans versus the Colts. Um, the Titans versus the Colts. That's one to think about. Um, the Titans have Julio Jones, who in his first game didn't really do that well, but did come up with a field goal kick against the Seahawks to go one and one. Colts have had more of a rough season, going 0-2 into the Rams, and I think the Seahawks to week one. It's going to be rough. Defense versus the offense. Had to go with the Titans right there. Um, Broncos versus the Jets. Just put the Broncos on there. Um, the Jets are just trying to fix a few things up, but they're gonna, I think they're going to start 0-3. Now the Raiders... The Raiders versus the Dolphins. The Dolphins have cornerbacks. The Raiders have an offense. Raiders, I think, are going to win this with the momentum they've been gaining. Panthers versus the Texans. The Houston Deshaun Watson is probably going to get canceled. Texans. Panthers are going to win that one. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Unless I am wrong and the Panthers somehow blow up a 
lost to against again the Texans. Texans, Deshaun Watson is gonna be freaking destroyed. Texans. Starting Davis Mills, third string quarterback, Texans. I don't think the Panthers are gonna win that one. They have to win that one. Football team versus the Bills. Football team started one and one, almost beat the Chargers, but they were down by four and they lost. And plus, the Bills have a way better team. So now Browns versus the Bears, man. The Bears are gonna put up a fight on defense if they can stop Nick Chubb. And Jarvis Landry, and all those guys. Well, was Jarvis Landry even playing? I don't even care. I just worry about the game. But if they can stop our top weapons, the Bears are going to try to, I think it's going to be a real close game. But I think the Browns are going to come out come out close. Like the last game, I think maybe they might lose by like, maybe they might lose by like 10 points in the first quarter. And the second quarter, they just start blowing up everyone. On the team, he'll start blowing up every one of the Bears' defense. Cleo Max probably gonna get friggin' down the field every single freaking day. What am I even saying? Browns are gonna beat the Bears. Let's go, Brownies. Cardinals versus the Jaguars. With how the Jaguars have been playing, my Cardinals are gonna beat the Jaguars. And the Colts are still the worst team in the division at 0 and 3. That's a problem. Ravens versus Lions is not even. A, that's not even a question. Patriots versus the Saints. Patriots have Mac Mac Mac, Mac Jones. Is it Mac Jones or is it Mac Wilson? I think it's Mac Jones. Um, but the Saints. They have no Michael Thomas. Their receiving core sucks. They have Jameis Winston though. They have Jameis Winston. He's done the most touchdowns and the most interceptions in the same season. Um, tough man. Patriots or the Saints. Um, I think the Saints are going to squeeze that one out and go 2-1 and one to start off the week four next for the following week. Now we're on to the NFC games. From the Panthers game to the Saints game, that was all AFC to NFC games. Now we're on to the NFC games. The games where the NFC teams play against the NFC teams. First of all, Falcons versus the Giants. I have to go against a team that was literally obliterated by two teams, or would I like to go against a team that has still has hope to play in this league still? Um, I probably have to go with the Giants. Okay, I'm gonna skip this next one here because I'm gonna do that last. Seahawks versus the Vikings, dude. That's another tough one. The defense and the offense pretty much equalize. The defense and the defense for the Seahawks are like the same thing, and same as the offense for the offense. Though their offenses are dysfunctional, even though they have great receivers, a great running back, and their quarterback's getting old. The defense is the same thing. They have great, they have great secondaries. Their line is decent. And they're the same freaking team. I hope the Vikings win, but the Vikings are going to win that one. I think they're going to come short and beat the Seahawks by, guess what? A field goal? Yes, a field goal. Yeah. Packers versus the 49ers. Packers start the season one and one. I don't have high hopes for the Packers this year, although they did kind of come back against the Lions. It wasn't really a comeback. What I meant to say was that they blew up the Lions last game. Um, but they lost horribly to the Saints. Sadly, the Browns lost to the Chiefs that same week. Um, eh, the Packers are 1-1, one one. they beat the Lions, they lost to the Saints, they're still improving, they lost to a good team, and they beat a bad team. I mean, the Lions are, are like, eh. So, the Packers basically lost to a lost to a good team and beat a bad team. We haven't proven them what they can do yet. And I think with the Packers, I think their only thing is offense, and they only have Jair Alexander on that defense, plus it's Darius Smith, who's injured, by the way. And the 49ers are really the exact opposite. They have their entire starters. They might start Jimmy Garoppolo. So, I think the 49ers are going to win that one. And then we got the Eagles and the Cowboys, man. Cowboys. Cowboys. Jesus. 
Buccaneers versus the Rams. This is the one I saved for last. For week three. So, the Bucks or the Rams? Well, um... The Rams are going to use their defense to blow up the Bucks offense, but the Bucks offense is going to hold up on the Rams offense. What are you, what are you saying? The Rams have better offense than the Bucks do defense, even though the Bucks are defending champions. Um, but I think Brady's offense, because the Bucks is always offense and defense kind of balanced out, but the offense is slightly better. That defense is going to blow them up, but I think the Bucks are going to squeeze out a win on that one. Taking them to three and zero, oh, and putting the Rams at two and one. That was week three. In ten, in about eleven minutes. Um, I'm gonna speak for like another minute. This this whole entire video was made for the purpose of just getting something out there while I am busy with a lot of things. I want to get this video out because I don't want to break my promise of me making videos again. So, this is kind of like a half video. My my new ones are going to be like way longer. They're going to be like half an hour. If I can get to half an hour before, my, before something happens and all that. But, I hope this new show... Not a show on it's not Netflix. The Doom. It ain't no the Doom show. It's YouTube. Just a YouTube video. I call it Colin Sports Talk or Sports Talk Colin. I don't know. I am going to hang out for a little while. And I will see you guys in the video next Tuesday. I don't know when I'm gonna have the new video. Probably Friday, probably. <sighs> probably Friday. If not, next Friday. Peace out. Colin from Colin Sports Talk. Browns fans, boom. Be ready for the Bears next week. Peace out. Woo!